Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at this problem and solution and figure out what went wrong and correct it. So this student uh, who did this solution did a pretty good job, but they did not take into account the fact that for the second and third parts of it, the roller coaster car is moving. So if the roller coaster car is moving and going in a curved path, that means there is acceleration. So even if the even if it's moving at a constant velocity and going in a curved path, it is accelerating. And so to help us with that, anytime you have something moving in a curved path, you should identify an R direction. And the roller coaster is here, and the center of the circle is there, so the R direction is upward, and that's the case for both of these, these second and third cases here. Okay. And so if you have a, an R direction, and here I'll just go ahead and put this as the plus Y direction, and then we'll just cross that out since it doesn't apply to all three anymore. So if we have a plus R direction, then we are going to sum the forces in the R direction and say that's equal to M times A, but this time it's going to be A sub C. Remember, R equals C. It's radial or centripetal. And both of those mean in towards the center. All right. So now we can look at this, we can say, let's take this equation down here, we can say Fn minus Mg equals Mac, Fn equals Mg plus Mac. And you know from your equation sheet or from your book that A sub C is equal to V squared over r, the speed squared divided by r. And so now we can fill in the numbers here. So we have 200 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared plus 200 kilograms times Ten meters, and that's from the drawing, which is kind of hard to see at this moment. And then the velocity goes in the top squared, and so that's going to be three and thirty. So three is really slow for a roller coaster. Thirty is is on the fast side for a roller coaster. That's more like sixty miles an hour, but not unheard of. And so if we plug those two in we get 2,140 newtons and then for the other one we get at the, the higher speed we get 19,960 newtons and so you can see it's quite a bit different once you get it in motion and the reason is that here the track is not just supporting the weight of the roller coaster car it's also changing the direction of the roller coaster car and the faster it's moving the more force is required to change the direction of that roller coaster car.